What up Ninja Clan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am as always your host the Atomic Ninja G and today we are going to continue our adventures with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So we are heading down this long tunnel today. Uh, that's going to take us over here somewhere. I doubt it's going to take us to this part exactly. Maybe we'll come out like here or something. Uh, but we're going to go to these ruins to meet with Raiju. Or, yeah, Raiju. Um, it also occurred to me as well, uh, if we go to our adventure log, that Master Koga was also here. Um, so, if we just click our thing off a minute, he is literally in the depths underneath Gerudo City. Uh, so, depending on how this all goes, we may go pay him a visit today, uh, or at least definitely this week at some point. But for now, we are going to go through the Valley of Silent Statues. Okay. Uh, we're going to be picking up as much stuff as possible. Uh, I am getting a bit short on gloom, or bright berries, or gloom seeds, or whatever they're called. Bloom seeds. Blooming seeds. Oh, this now looks a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to. Uh, hi, can I talk to you? Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in the strangest place. <laughs> Welcome to Legend of Zelda. Everyone looks the same down here. Or everything looks the same down here. It wouldn't be so easy to get... It would be... Oh, my days. All right. Uh, public announcement. Today, Atomic Ninja G cannot read. Everything looks the same down here. It would be so easy to get turned around. I wonder if the people who originally made this place got lost in it all the time too. Uh? Hey, what do you want? Were you lurking in the shadows there, eavesdropping on what I was saying? Oh, you're that vow that everyone has been talking about, right? If I were younger, I might have been surprised to see you here. But at my age, well, very little surprises me. Disappointed that I wasn't shocked and aghast at the very sight of you, eh? Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm feeling a little parched, so maybe something to drink at the canteen. I mean, you're going the wrong way, love, but... Oh, there... Oh, she, she's going the right way now. It's fine. Okay. Oh! All right. <laughs> Oh, it's moving sand. All right, let's let's get up to the sand a minute. Get back up onto this rock. Okay. Uh. Right. So there's something up there. I think I came from down there. Um. <clears throat> uh, what's this over here? Some jars, some seeds, a ladder, and climb our way up that way. I'd like to know what's that glowing up there. That could be fake Zelda. Um, okay. Let's head over that direction. I wonder if I can make myself a little walkway. It just flows with the sands of time. It's fine. We can just jump across. It's cool. All right. Hop, little bunny. Hop, 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 little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> the joys of having kids, guys. The joys of having kids. Oh, it totally depletes my stamina to be in the stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe let's not use that one. Let's use one of these. An apple. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for some arrows. But, uh, can I chip away at these? I can. Flint. I'll take some of that. Uh, I will also... <laughs> okay, let's have a look-see. What is that? Oh. All right. I see there's something as well. Do I have any bomb arrows left? Don't know if I do, you know. 
I think I used up all my flower bombs. Uh, yeah, I did. All right. Let's have a look. See, it's a rush room. No, a bright cap. Okay. Oh, man, alive. This is not going well so far. Can I grab? No, I can't. Okay, I'm not that bothered about not having the bright cap, so it's cool. Um, send it here. Pop out there. Uh, oh. Oh, my days. Okay. Well, since we're here again, we may as well grab this. <laughs> can I just climb straight up? Yeah, I can. Alright, I'm just going to do that. straight up here. Okay, let's just do that. Quicker, not necessarily, but, you know, does the job. Yeah, okay, we're good, mate. We're good. Just drop down. There we go. Thank you. Okie dokie. So, let's take a look over here, because that is thoroughly intriguing to me. Uh, what's this? Some sort of giant... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not bothered by that. Uh, where is... Why is he never around? There he is. Alright. I think he may end up going straight down. Alright. Um, is it possible for me to build a ramp of some sort? What else have we got around here? Oh! This, oh. I see, so I need to shine a light on this thing. So what is coming through that over there is light. And we need to find those little mirror things. And we're going to have to light this place up. Ah, it's a bomb flower. Excellent. Um, how about we start using the right buttons? Do I have anything that would... Just break that rock. I don't think I do. Uh, let's use this. Oh, would that work? Not at all. Okay. That's a shame. Oh, <clears throat> another bomb flower. Excellent. We'll collect as many of these as we can since we are basically out of them. We are running low on giant bloom seeds. Oh, cool! Okay, that's good to know. Uh, we won't keep doing that. Uh, what about fire? Will fire kill him? Oh, fire seems to do a good job. All right, fire is the way to go. All right, a keyboard bone. Okay, cool. So they burn. Good, good, good. Uh, I do need a rock or something. Um, I would like to farm all of these stones and stuff. So maybe I need to get a hold of a rusty halberd. Um, where's that fan sword? Uh, nope, okay. Let's just pop that on for now. Du, 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 du. Ruby Rod is damaged. Yeah. That is unfortuitous. Whoa. Hello. Oh. Okay. However. 
Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so that's the way to come to find her. I'm going to leave her a second because I would like to know more about um, this light source down here. Maybe she's going to force me to come back here. Oh, don't stand on there. That was dumb. That was dumb. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's, okay, I'm gonna go back up uh, and let's go talk to her and maybe she'll give us some extra stuff. Maybe she'll let us know about extra things going on, etc. She's practicing with the Thunder Helm. So maybe what we'll do is prepare for that uh, by wearing the copy of the Thunder Helm and being like, by the way, nick this off the Yiger clan. Woohoo. Maybe we'll change swords as well. Uh, let's get something that maybe isn't so. Yeah, let's do a double Zonite sword sword. That way, I think we're good in terms of um, not getting electrocuted. Hello? How be, how be? North Gerudo Ruins. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, isn't that slightly terrifying? Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. It's you. It is. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, hello, Rachel. But then, you always show up in unusual times. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> oh. Here's my arms. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you, and now she's a dragon. And now you've come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. She's a dragon. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Yep. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never even seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Yep, yeah, not gonna lie. Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Have you tried fire? Fire works pretty well as well. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. I mean, through you? Okay. Anybody else utterly terrified this is going to end badly for everyone? 
come on. Ah, oh, Joy-Cons, why won't you work when I want you to? Alright, let's go. There we go. Ha! Huh, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. Little trickier? That wasn't exactly a walk in the park. Oh, my days. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try and hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three, like right around where that rock is jetting out. But keep in mind that the farther away a target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. So I guess this is your particular mechanic. Did we not get the rock? Does not help that my Joy-Cons are drifting. Did you get him? Yes! I'm getting the hang of it now. Good for you. <laughs> the Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Super welcome. <gasps> Sage time! Oh? What was that? Hmm. It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made. That's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking... Kara Kara Bazaar. Bul Bul Bulara is already on her, making her way there. She's already. Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Kara Kara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Kara Kara Bazaar? It's the oasis northwest of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Let's do this thing. But before we do that, I've just noticed there's a box. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in the box. Arrows? Knight's bow. That would come in handy. Thank you. Uh, it's ridiculously hot in the sun, but in the shade we are fine. Uh, is there anything else around these here parts? Oh, is she expecting me to make my own way there? Is that what's happening? I wonder what would happen if I just... Ah! It cools me down. Interesting. Now, it will eventually just drop off and wear down and wear off. However... Discovery! Grudo Sanctuary. Um, right. The other question... There's a hole there. That was not my question. My question was going to be... Come here. Um, shall I go back through the desert or should I go through the cave tunnel place? Uh, but then I found a hole. So we're going to go this way and see what happens. Alright. Uh, so we are under the ruins, I guess? Uh... Where are you? Can I bore you again? Sorry. Just run over that thing for me. There we go. Uh, I do wish I had something to break these that wasn't just this guy. Because sometimes you don't get anything out of it because he blows it all up. Um, oh, no, nope, there's some flint or some. And it takes a while. Okay. Amber, it's a flint. Right. Let's head down here. See what's. I think this probably connects up to the cave where you come out. So that's quite cool. 
Would that work on them? Well, that didn't work on them. So I'm going back to fire. Which now doesn't work because of that. So let's try setting them on fire. Shall we? And that works just as well. Excellent. Okay, cool. Nice. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Alright. <laughs> the arrows that are rolling around. Oh, I see in this. Uh, okay, let's take that. There's a rock there, that's great. So, let's put the bow away. Let's grab this sword. Then you grab this, no, nope. we'll grab this. And let's attach the rock to that. And now we have a new club to farm things with. Uh, next sword I find, I'll see if I've got any rubies. And then we can attach um, a rupee to a sword. Or a halberd, maybe, if I grab a rusty halberd. And then we can, um, why are we crouching? Uh, what am I doing? Uh, then we can uh, Okay, that's not doing that. I'm not sure this is the best idea, you know? But let's give it a go, eh? Are they all the way down here now because they're the last thing I picked? Yep. Okay. Uh, box. Ah! What have we got? Giant bloom seed? Okay. Um, can I lift the gate? No. Can I ascend? Yes. Alright. Where are we ascending to? That's the big question. Into the ruins. Okay. So now the problem is, I am not 100% sure where in the ruins I actually am. Um, <laughs> a zap shroom. Okay. Uh, I don't know if a map will help me. No, it will not. Uh-oh. Uh, huh. uh, no, no, no. Oh, my days. Right, you go over there. Saidan, come here. Need some help, mate. Right, I'm pretty sure they were down this way. So, I'm going to wander down here for a while. Oh, there's my Boko bow. I don't remember dropping it there, but... it's a couple of those guys. It kind of does depend on what side of the ruins I'm on, right? That's the other problem. I genuinely have no idea where I am now. Uh, so I don't... Thank you. Right, there's a depths there. I think... Oh, is this the ice cavern? I've gone completely the wrong way. Okay, that's what has happened here. Okay, let's go here. May as well investigate this while we're here. The ice house. My guess is it is closed. Um, I can't carry anymore. Okay, fine. The ice. Oh, you're a Hylian. Uh, this is the ice house. Uh, it's where we store ice, obviously. It's all made from snow melt from the Gerudo Highlands. I'm kind of surprised to see you here. It isn't really a tourist destination. But you're probably wondering uh, where all the ice is, right? Well, it's gotten hot enough that it all melted. Feels wrong to even call the place an ice house right now. Mm. 
Uh, have you heard about the incredibly popular drink the Noble Canteen in town makes? Well, it used ice from here. Or it did. If I can't get ice delivered to town, there won't be any signature drinks being made by anyone. I've got to find a way to make ice. Um, okay. Is there anything I can do? Is there anything in the water? That's the first thing. No. So let's try. Uh, which is it? The ice? It's not that one. I ah, there it goes. White chew jelly. Make sure I get out of the water first. Ta-da! Hey, that's ice, isn't it? I don't know Hylians could. I didn't know Hylians could make ice. Maybe I've been in the ice house or up on the mountain for too long. Anyway, if it's okay with you, could I have this ice? Yeah. For sure. If it's possible to make a hunk of ice that fits nicely in that alcove, that would be ideal. I mean... Is it melting by any chance now that it's out of there? I can't even get it through the door. Um. Can I hit it? Or well, maybe, hang on. Maybe, let's try hitting it. Worst case scenario, we'll just make another chunk, it's fine. Do this. Nope. Do you know what I really could use? A fire sword? Yep. Uh, that's not really doing anything. Oh, this could work. Go on, fit in. Come on, that'll go in, right? How's that? Oh. Oh, you put some ice in the alcove for me. However, what now? Uh, I won't argue that there is now ice in the alcove. That much is true. But how much ice? Not a lot. Not a lot. This chunk of ice is just too small. It'll melt before it makes it to town. Why don't you use the size of the alcove to measure? If the ice is around the same width as the alcove, that should do just fine. Okay, the problem is, love, I don't really know... How to make ice that shape. Um, I guess you have to do it in here. How would I make ice that shape? Because it's not like I can get water in there. Do I have anything that would make a cube of ice? I rewind. Nope. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know what to do. If I think of something, I'll come back. But right now, I think we need to head to uh, help out Raiju. Because I think I've spent enough time faffing about in this episode. <laughs> so I'm going to head down this end, guys. Go find that cave entrance. And I'll meet you guys when I get to the cave. And welcome back, guys. So I've made it back to the cave. Um, happy days. Uh, we will farm some of the stuff now that we're here. Uh, especially this luminous jazz. Oh, 
<laughs> a bit too much there. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's grab some of these. Uh, rock salt opal. Hopefully, and I'm not saying we will, but hopefully, maybe somewhere in here we'll grab some ruby, um, ruby pieces as well. A diamond. I would like to attach the diamond to the master sword. Well, I guess I could attach a ruby to the master sword. That could be something we could do. Oh, no! I keep forgetting about those. Rock. Ah, ruby! Yes! Excellent. Right. Let's... Attempt to fly over here. That's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, here we go. The dreaded ladder. Go straight up, please. I do wish you could just kind of ascend multiple levels, or it could give you the option to ascend multiple levels. That would be kind of cool. Um, oh, that close. Right, now then. I will grab this. Can't carry any more weapons. Of course not. Right. Uh, bombs are over this way. Two left. So let's blow this up. That's going to give us light. It's going to come as far as here. Giving us arrows. That's gonna break that, but that's okay because we'll just grab this and then we will attach that rock to this. And now we have another way to sort that out. Uh, let's. Uh, no, let's, let's use these. Uh, right, so basically what I'm looking for now are some of those mirrors. Uh, we haven't investigated this way, so let's... Do you know what I could really use? I don't know if it's even in this game, but in uh, Ocarina of Time... There you go. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, in Ocarina of Time, there was a shield that had a mirror on it. Uh, and that was pretty cool. It's the mirror shield, funny enough. Uh, that would be super duper useful right now. Okay, can I... I just need it to ever so slightly. I think let's use Ultra Hand to do it. Because uh, I think you get a bit more maneuverability with Ultra Hand. Uh, the problem is now I can't quite see. So about there. That'll do. Awesome. It's awake. Oh. And I'm pretty sure there's one over this side as well. So let's open up that one. See what happens now. And there's a big one behind this wall. So I'm assuming we're going to have to pick up another mirror from somewhere. Uh, so let's pop that down here. Let's leave that there for safekeeping. Uh, let's head down this one. And see what it is we can find. If I come off that, will it stay? Yes, it will. Okay, cool. Let's grab this. Okay. It's just a small little cave. Alright, that's fine by me. Fine by me. So we are going to have to come and do this one. Not sure how we're going to do that because the wall is in the way. So my guess is there's going to be another mirror or something around here somewhere. Uh, nope, can't push that. Uh, <laughs> not really sure I need to be wearing the Thunder Helm. <laughs> but, oh, there we go. Oh, cool. Uh, do we still have this? We do. So let's just use this. Let's grab this one. 
And now this one should help us to get the light in there. So let's leave it over here somewhere. Um, and angles. That's the... That's going to be the big thing now is angles. Yep. So I can get it this way easier. So let's pop that down there. And then it's just a case of getting this mirror to get the light in there. So we will ultra hand this again. So the side and gets out of the way. I need to be careful that I don't fall. I don't know if it needs to be like there. No, that way, that way. How close are we? Oh, almost. I wonder if I stand up here and ultra hand from here. Okay, that's probably a better way of doing it. Problem is, I can't actually see. Is it doing anything? Yep, yeah, cool. Happy days. All right, so that will open up. And let's see what we get from behind you. Hopefully that stays up here in case we need it again. All right. Oh. Okay. Just the one. I believe it is. Okay, desert is electric themed. Is nobody else coming in to help me? I'm just wondering. Uh, okay, it's gonna break. I don't think it's gonna regain its strength or anything. Um, if I stand on the wall, will the electric attacks get to me? Oh, no, they won't. Uh, so let's just do the Master Sword. It's done. I still maintain these are the most disgusting things in the history of this game. Uh, but here we go. Let's open up this chest. Gerudo Shield. Okay. Uh, Meta Shield has changed over time to match the Gerudo Sword and fighting style. It's favoured by soldiers. It's 28. Let's swap it with this one. And the reason I'm going to do that is because it is a shiny shield. And I'm wondering if it reflects light. Ooh, topaz, yes. Uh, we got a nice bow. Uh, let's take a look at all the bows we have. Uh, what's that? It's a soldier's bow. That's a knight's bow. It's 26. So let's drop this one in favour of that one. Uh, did the Master Sword break? I think it might have. Okay. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's my old shield. Let's just grab these jars here. An opal. What does an opal do? Let me have a look. Is an opal an electric uh, thing? Is this opals? That's topaz. Uh, fuel stack power. Power by electricity. Okay. So what does the opal do? Mesmerizing iridescence is similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Okay. So actually what I want to do, just to try this out, is let's drop that... Uh, and I want to fuse that to this sword. Because then we should be able to hit with electric power, right? Yes. Okay. That's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll pick up the opal. Because uh, apparently, electric is the way to go with the fire demons. Not the fire demons. The, um... What are they called? The bibble dots <laughs> People. <laughs> okay. Do I have... Uh, I've got the flame emitter, right? So we'll keep that one. Um, I am tempted to 
create another fire weapon right now just to prep so let's do that just in case what I don't want to end up doing is running out of the ability to hit these things with fire and we'll equip the traveler sword and that will go there okay so guys I am going to travel back towards the Grudo village um, back to see my friends and head towards the bazaar and tomorrow's episode we are going to take on uh, that horde of attacking Dib G Gibos? Gibdos? Or whatever they're called. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. But for now, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode and exploring these caves with me. Um, yeah, please, if you like this episode, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and share this video with your friends, your family, and anyone in your real life and online communities. I would super appreciate it, and it super helps this channel to grow. Until tomorrow, guys, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome, and this has been The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom.